All right, let's continue down this walkway over here. People have the uh, music cranking while they're scurrying to set everything up. And usually when most people arrive, all the vendors are just sitting there ready to sell all their stuff. Uh, but this is what it looks like beforehand. <laughs> hey Lisa, when everybody's just trying to get all their stuff ready. And uh, it takes a lot of people to do put off, pull off an event like this, as you can imagine. Lots of volunteers and committee members working really hard. Right over here where the music's coming from is one of the stages. They have a main stage and then they also have another barn area. And on both places they're going to be doing different presentations throughout the day. So that's there. Let's see what's down here. We have GeoSwag. Here's some more vendors. Oak Coins and GeoSwag. This is an interesting uh, little thing here. Utah Life. It's a, oh, it's an arch, yes. <laughs> an interesting thing. It's an arch from Utah. We'll come back and check them out. We got FTF Geocacher Magazine over here. There's Keith getting set up. All right. Hey there. We're, we're 2,000 finds. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> it's quite a milestone for us, 2,000 finds. Very nice. <laughs> Thank Very you so nice. much. <laughs> cool. Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Much appreciated. And you, you guys are from the South Coast Geocachers. We're South yes. Coast Geocachers in Oregon. And we're Steve, Steve and Nancy. Mm -hmm. And we're here with... FTF Geocaster Magazine. Okay. Very nice. Terrific. All right. Well, good to meet you today. <laughs> All right. And down here we have the Hama, Louisiana. I believe they have a geo tour. So they're here telling everybody about their geo tour in Louisiana. And then we have, what do we have down here? Wow. Nice art. Wow. This is really cool. Looks like some different things for sale. And what you see off in the distance, we believe, is the uh, kids area. Lots of stuff and fun stuff for kids. And so we just wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, Geo Tour and everything that you uh, would possibly see. Oh, one more thing, I just wanted to show you these two things here. This porta potty. These are the two bathrooms that thousands of people are going to use. It's amazing. I mean, yeah, the lines get a little bit long and everything, but uh, two bathrooms, uh, about 5,000 people. Uh, a lot of people you see, you meet in line, and they're standing like this because it gets a little uncomfortable after a while but it's okay it works out it's amazing how it does all right that is the end of our tour right now uh, for geo woodstock 14er we'll bring you more as the day goes along all right guys only a few hours have passed but it looks very different here now and as sunny goes around you'll be able to see that it is crowded and packed it's amazing the line for registration is out the barn and down around the grass because people who didn't get theirs yesterday are here uh, ready to do it now all of the vendor booths are just inundated with people and they're all trying to find out all the latest geo swag and, and geocaching goodies that they can find. The Garmin booth over here is showing their brand new Garmin that we're going to get an interview and find out all the details about it. Very exciting, exciting announcement for geocachers for the new Oregon, I think it's a 70, 750T. Uh, really cool, we'll be learning more about that. But you can just feel the, the sense of excitement here as we're just surrounded by people who are, are meeting old friends, finding new ones, checking out all the vendors, and pretty soon the food, there's supposed to be food trucks here. They kind of did a really cool different thing this year where they, they just gave out a certain amount of tickets worth uh, dollars, and then you can decide which food truck you want to go spend your dollars at. Uh, or if you want to get something here and something over there, you can spend your money and get whatever kind of food you want. There's going to be several different food trucks here. So we're going to go see what the options are. So that's kind of cool. There's a lot of choices. Over there in the big grass field, there's uh, some kids games, I think, with beanbag toss. And Sean hasn't even been out there that much. He's just at our table trying to sell his coloring book. <laughs> He's a little entrepreneur saying, hey, come buy this coloring book. And, and he sat down and autographed them. So that's really cool, too. So we just wanted to give you a little sense of what it's like here right now, just with uh, cashers coming in. You know, the flow is all day long. Some come in the morning, then they go out caching. Some come here and stay all day because there's stuff going on all the time. And then others just come maybe in the, the cooler part of the day. It is warm out here, but at least it's not raining. We got great Colorado sunshine and really having a great time here at Geo Woodstock 14er. To be continued.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back to see more of our geocaching adventures and travels. And head over to podcacher.com for even more geocaching goodness.